ജി ഡി നായിഡു ചാരിറ്റീസ് ഇനോഗ്രേറ്റഡ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ സയൻസ് സെൻറ്റർ ജി ഡി നായിഡു ചാരിറ്റീസ് കോയമ്പത്തൂർ ഓൺ ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ സയൻസ് ഡേ ഇനോഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻട്രാക്റ്റീവ് സയൻസ് സെൻറ്റർ നെയിം ദ എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ ഓൺ ട്യൂസ്ഡേ അറ്റ് ജി ഡി മ്യൂസിയം കോയമ്പത്തൂർ ദിസ് വാസ് ഇനോഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ബൈ പൽനവേൽ ത്യാഗരാജൻ മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് ഫിനാൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഹ്യൂമൻ റിസോഴ്സസ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ഗവൺമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് തമിഴ്നാടു ക്രാന്തി കുമാർ പട്ടി ഐ എ എസ് ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് കളക്ടർ കോയമ്പത്തൂർ ആൻഡ് കൃഷ്ണരാജ് വാനവറായർ ചെയർമാൻ ഭാരതീയ വിദ്യാഭവൻ കോയമ്പത്തൂർ ഓഫേർഡ് ഫെലിസിറ്റേഷൻസ് മഖേല കുച്ചല കൺസൽ ജനറൽ ജർമ്മൻ കൺസുലേറ്റ് ജനറൽ ചെന്നൈ വാസ് ദ ഗസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഹോണർ ജി ഡി ഗോപാൽ മാനേജിംഗ് ട്രസ്റ്റി ആൻഡ് ചെയർമാൻ ജി ഡി നായിഡു ചാരിറ്റീസ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഓവർ ദ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് പൽനിവേൽ ത്യാഗരാജൻ പ്രസന്റഡ് അവാർഡ്സ് ടു ദ വിന്നേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ നാഷണൽ സയൻസ് ഡേ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻസ് പ്രീവിയസ്ലി ഹെൽഡ് ഇൻ വേരിയസ് സ്കൂൾസ് At the outset, I would like to thank and welcome Dr. P.T.R. Pallivel Tiagarajan, our Honorable Minister for Finance and Human Resources, Government of Tamil Nadu, for accepting our request to be the Chief Guest to inaugurate the Experimental Science Centre. I would like to welcome and thank Mrs. Mikhail Akhilkla, Council General of the Federal Republic of Germany, German Council at Chennai, for accepting our request to be the guest of honor in spite of a busy schedule. I would like to welcome and thank Dr. P.K. B.K. Krishnaraj Vanarayar sir for instantaneously accepting to facilitate this function like in our other functions. And once again, thank you for your contribution towards Mahatma Gandhi Memorial sir. I would like to welcome and thank Mr. Joshi, Managing Director of FESTO, for representing FESTO and being here. The idea of starting a science center to this uh, thing is, I mean, the idea was born when we visited a science center in Winterthur called Technorama. That's in Switzerland. We spent almost the whole day. And we thought that this was not enough. We must again continue the next day also and see it. That was when Mr. Gopal told me, what do you think? Would Coimbatore appreciate such a thing? I was at that point of time not very convinced because most importantly, it needs a huge investment whether you'll be able to do this. Of course, we had a science museum. This would be complementing the science museum. So then we decided, let us look at other smaller science centers. So we started finding out science centers in and around Europe and maybe we must have visited around 11 of them. Many in Germany, I think even the Germans don't know where it is. We use a GPS to find it out. Of course, there is a science center called Technorino, there is a science center called Fiano, and in Amsterdam there is a science center called Nemo. Name it, we'll give you the dates. Then the more we saw, the more we got confused. Are we on the right track? Do we really want to do it or not? But then we know Mr. Gopal's spirit. Once he starts something, Some way or other, he'll see that the team is aligned and we'll start our project. That's how we did our GTTI, GTTI our car museum, the Gandhi museum and all that. So we know the fire is on. Now we have to start gearing up. That's it as well as district of Coimbatore. And it's a true tribute to the great legacy of J.D. Nagdu Sir, who is wealth creator and innovator par excellence and in a true spirit of learning by doing, as was explained in the school dropout, but he could achieve great things in his life by learning by doing. So, offering tribute to his technique, this center has so many avenues where everybody can learn. While we are having our tour today, it is explained that kids will enjoy all this, but I can assure sir, we have enjoyed it a lot more and it will bring out the kids in all of us whenever we visit this place and uh, no one I think you should have somebody to drive people out of this center <laughs> after they finish a certain period of time and uh, it will be a great addition to all uh, the universe of uh, different avenues uh, of learning that are present, already present here. I don't know what justifies me in whether I'm speaking to you. The minister is there, rightfully there. The collector is there because he is head of the district administration. The representative from the German consulate is there because we know the connections of the GD family and Germany. But why I am here, I really don't know. Even you will be wondering. 
by a guy from the Bharata Vidya Bhavan here. What has he got to do with science? Nothing to do. I'm a commerce and a law graduate. Nothing to do with science. But I've come here only to thank this family on behalf of all of you for what they have done to us and quite a bit. I don't think one family can do this, not only here but anywhere in India. The GD Charities, uh, Akila was not very generous in introducing. They have done so much. Maybe they cannot say, only we can say. As far as the GD Charities and the family is concerned, nothing is impossible for them. Once they make up their mind, they will do it. I know it personally because I have been associated with them in creating the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial here. A house in which Mahatma stayed in 34, which belongs to the GD family, has now been made into a memorial at a very uh, high cost, without expecting anything in return. So, we are really deeply indebted to this family and for their generosity. Today, we are inaugurating another accomplishment of this extraordinary friendship, the Experimenta Science Center. I'm very proud to be part of this historic event. Thank you for having invited me, Nandri. This Science Center and this campus here is for me also a symbol for what is going on in Tamil Nadu and India as a whole. And that is when I came first here for the first time in August last year, and then again in September, and now in February this year. So it's si within six months, this place has changed completely. There was no science center before. There was a different facade. There is now a new building to enter the museums on this campus. So it is, I've been here only six months, and I can say, what I have learned is, in India, progress happens every day, and the land, the country changes in a very fast pace. First, I must say that at the core of the Gandhi economic model, there's actually very little to separate from the social justice economic model. Inclusion must be at the heart of all democratic governments and republics. Without inclusion, without a harmonious society, we are merely on a path to uh, eventual decay. The minute some segment, especially if it's a large segment of society, does not believe the system works equitably for them, then it is uh, a forbearer of decline. Every democracy must strive at every stage of development to keep as much equity as possible, to keep everybody engaged in the game and vested in the system. And I hope that this will be the forerunner, not just the one of its kind, but the forerunner for many such uh, centers across the state and across the country, and that many, many of our children and future generations to come will find inspiration will get direction and a sense of purpose from uh, visiting such centers. So thank you again for inviting me. I wish this center great success. I congratulate GD Charities, the people of Coimbatore who have got such a good center, and everybody involved in this effort. Thank you very much.